Here we go again. Sorry, y'all, about the visual. I'm about to jump on the plane. I'm about to go to Atlanta for the holiday, so y'all got to excuse me. So I'm sorry that y'all can't see me in the studio, but we finna continue with this story. So Big Red is on the phone, and I just hear him like, oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no. So I'm like, man, what the heck he... What the heck going on with Big Red? So I pop my head off the, off the cell to make sure, you know, when ain't no riot popping off. And I see him, like, by the phone, and he like, no, oh, no. And I'm like, did, did somebody, like, hit him with, with the sword adjusted or something? Like, what's going on? So he dropped the phone, and he just stormed him off. And so his son, of what I know now, his son, was like, what's up, Red? What's going on? What what you say to my mom? And he like, man, hey, oh, oh, man, man, hey, get away from me. Get away from me, bro. Get away from me. And everybody looking like, man, what the heck going on? Like, what what did she say to him? Like, because at this point, y'all, we don't know what's going on at all. The only person that know what was said was Big Red and this woman on the other end. So I'm like... Okay, um, I mean, I don't know why Red out there wilding out like that. So two of his punks come over there to his cell, and he they like a soul to him. Now he like yelling at this point like, oh, man, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. And remember, his son is his cellmate also, but they won't let him in the cell. So at this time, one of the guards come over there like, yo, what, what's going on over here? And Red just wilding out. He like, man, get the F off my face, man. I need some time to think, man. Get the, away from me. Get away from me. So the guard like, hey, you need to calm down, you know, escalating the situation. Now, the guard clearly seen that it was no problem, wasn't no threat. He came over there to check on Red and see what the commotion was all about. He seen there wasn't nothing going on. But y'all know how these CEOs do it. They always want to escalate stuff. So... They like, well, you need to calm down and we need to know what's going on and all this and that. And Red basically snapped on him and jumped up and started walking towards the CEO while the two punks was holding him back. Like, no, nah, Red, don't do it, Red. Red, don't do it. And Red like, man, let me go. Let me go. So the CEO get on the uh, the walkie-talkie and get the call in the code and telling us to lock down and... Red trying to really get at the CEO because I guess he's taking this anger out on the CEO because the CEO wouldn't give him time to, you know, go through what he was going through. He kept pushing the issue. Now Red trying to get at him. So the two punks, Red punks, like was holding him back. They like, please, Red, don't do this, Red, Red, please don't do this. Don't do this, Red. And Red just, you know, he calming down just a little bit and dude said like his son like man hey oh uh, red what, what what happened what happened what, what, what's going on like what, what did my mom say to you and he read that steady just hollering and hooting like man this is so messed up well he didn't say messed up he said this is so effed up that's what he was saying but you know this youtube and i can't really cuss like that so he like yeah man man uh, oh man I, I can't believe this this is so effed up man i can't believe this so, um, about five CEOs come in there, and they, you know, y'all know how they do it. They come in there with the um, all black on, with the let, with the um, steel toe boots, with the um, army fatigue stuff on. Y'all know how they, y'all know how they do it. So they come in there, tell Red to cuff up and all this and that. And Red like, man, I, why, why I got to cuff up and all this and that? I ain't even do nothing, all this, and they like, cuff up. We need to figure out what's going on. He's like, ain't nothing going on. Ain't nothing to figure out and all this and that, right? So he eventually cuffed up, and they let him out of there, right? So we still on lockdown. So we like, man, what the heck going on? So we sending kites trying to see what happens. So the next day when we get off a of lockdown, Red still ain't there. They done roll him up. Matter of fact, they moved all his stuff out. I guess they put him in solitary confinement and gonna move him to another part of the prison, whatever. So 
dude get on the phone with his mama and boy oh boy this is where everything come out so he get on the phone he like hey ma um what what, what happened yesterday you know red started wilding out the mama was like hey let me let me ask you a question you know i never told you who your father was he like Nah, I, yeah, you ain't never tell me. You, know, you never told me about my father. She was like, "Well, the guy that was on the phone read that that's your dad." He like, "What? Yeah, that that's, that's your dad. That's your father." He like, "Ma, come on, man, stop playing, stop playing." She like, "No, that is your father." He she like, "Well, I mean, you're in there, so now you'll be protected by him, you know." He he have you back in there. Now you got somebody, you know, your father is in there. That's that's your father. He went to prison when I when I was born. When 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 he got he got me pregnant and he got sent to prison, so he never met you. But yeah, that's your father. He like, Ma, please tell me that ain't true. That that, that can't be true, Ma. Tell me that ain't true. She like, Yeah, well, why are you saying that though? Why you keep saying like that's a problem? He like, Ma. Please tell me that is not true. She said, yes, son, that is, is true. Big Red is your father. So he said, hey, Ma, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call you back. I'm, she's like, what? what? What's going on? He said, Ma, let, let me just call you back. So he hang up the phone, and he's sitting still by the phone. He kind of like slouched down on the brick wall where the phone is at, and he just got his hands in, in his face like, you know, like, covering up so i'm looking at him another cat's looking like man what the heck is going on with well i mean red just wild out yesterday talking to this lady he, he wild out he done got put to the hole now his son you know what's up with this mama like what is she saying to these dudes for them to you know doing what they doing so one of the punks of red come over there and said, you know, like, what what's going on with you, man? What what, what what's going on? Why red? Like, what did your mama say to red or whatever? He was like, man, man, red is my father, man. And the gay guy that the punk was like, what? He like, yeah, man, red, man, he 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 my father. The punk's like, what you mean, like, like yo your dad like. <clears throat> That's your blood, Daddy. He like, yeah, man. He, yeah, r r r read my father, man. The punk was like, oh, oh, oh. So he like, yeah. Let me tell y'all something, right? I know this story is really, really hard to believe. I get it. I, I understand. Why well, y'all don't believe this story. But understand, this story is 100% real. I changed the names and I changed the location to protect the victim, which is Red Sun. You see, I don't want to, when I tell these stories, y'all, of course, a lot of these stories sound like they heavily embellished or stressed out. But anybody that been to the penitentiary, y'all know it's it it goes down. This what I, this the version that I'm giving y'all is PG thirteen. There's no way in heck YouTube would allow me to tell y'all these stories in this whole entirely. They will take my butt off this platform. And this is what I do, y'all. I am an entertainer. I am a master master storyteller. And I'm here to provide these stories to y'all. Now, y'all might don't like me. Y'all might don't even like how I pronounce my words and tell these stories. If you don't like the way I tell these stories and how I do it, you can always watch somebody else. You know, you ain't got to stick around. But for the people that do enjoy these stories, this is for y'all. Okay, take what you need to take from it. Especially these young cats out here that be out here committing crimes. Jail, prison is not fun. There ain't nothing fun about it. 
There's there's nothing to there's nothing in prison that nobody should want. Nothing there but a bunch of dudes. And it's crazy in there. So, like I said, there's a lot of demonic things that goes on in prison. Prison is like a world inside of a world. There ain't no rules. There ain't no laws. The inmates run it. There's a lot of military mind games that's going on in prison. A whole lot of them. Where there's a bunch of horny dudes that's trying to get with younger inmates and try to take advantage of them. We all heard that notion where cats uh, would knock out a younger inmate and then take them, right? That don't go on really. I mean, it goes on still, but it's rare that that happens now. You got cats out here where I tell y'all that's doing the slow con, like what Big Red did to his own son, which is wine and dine you and give you things that make you feel like, like they're protecting you. And then a month or two or three go by and they start coming on to you and trying to tell you to do certain things where other people are with them. And if you say no, they try to guilt trip you and try to play military mind games of saying, like, I've been protecting you all this time and you just going to not take care of me and all this and that. Who you think been protecting you all this time? And, you know, they try to guilt trip you to, you know, doing what they want to do to you. Right. And then you also got them cats that, you know, get you in debt and they tell you like, yo, um, here go three honey buns and here go a couple summer sausages, you know, five items of commissary. And then you thinking they showing love to you. And then when it's commissary day, they say, yo, you got them 20 um, items and you like 20. You only let me get five items. Nah, man, it, this is my interest. And then he pull out that knife on you and like, yo, either you going to give me, you know, these 20 items or you going to have to give me something else. And that something else as well. Y'all know what this story all about. So don't ever think that you cannot be in this situation. Never understand this, man. Because you got to understand you got convicts and you got jailbirds. Me. I'm going to be real, y'all. I was a jailbird. I wasn't no convict. I wasn't no convict. I was just cruising on through there. This was not my home. I was just a visitor, okay? It's a difference between a convict and a jailbird. Me, I was a jailbird. I could not stay out of the county. I was always in and out for stupid stuff, but I was never a convict, okay? So, again, y'all, if y'all was wondering, you know, how this whole thing went down, Big Red, like I said, he ended up getting transferred on the other side of the prison. He was in a hole for about a year for a while and now, and I guess he caught a couple of assault charges back then while he was in the hole. Because, I mean, I guess, see, the magnitude of what he did, you know, was weighing in on him. And, hey, it is what it is. He should have, hey, he was programming a certain way. And I guess his perversion caught up with him in a crazy way. Retribution, right? So, uh, and his son went on to be a, a punk, basically. He ended up getting with another cat, and they ended up getting trans. Well, he ended up getting transferred to another prison some years later. And, you know, it's, it's it is what it is. So, you know. So, yeah, this is part two. Sorry that y'all can't see my face, but like I said, I'm about to get on a plane to go to Atlanta. I'm just sitting here at the airport telling y'all this story. Um, I'm going to, I go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. All right, so y'all make sure y'all be in the building. 7 p.m. Eastern time every Wednesday. Uh, what else? Oh, I got the cash app right there, y'all. It's Christmas time. Y'all know Dante got all these kids, so I got to get, you know, presents for the kids. So I need for y'all to chip in on that, all right? I'm just messing with y'all. But look, if y'all want to so, if y'all want to support the Dante Show Network, y'all can lean on that cash app, and, you know, it's highly appreciated. Also, 
um, I drop a video every day at 11 a.m. Every day at 11 a.m. If YouTube is not sending out the notifications, it don't even matter at this point. Just know that I'll drop a video every day at 11 a.m. And that's what it is. All right. So um, with that, also, I charge right now only for the month of December. I'm only charging $20 to promote your social media channel and or your business. Okay. It's $20 a video. When January 1st come, I'm going back to $100 a video. So y'all better take advantage. All right. $100 a video is starting. I'm starting that back up in January. All right. So take advantage of this $20 a video. All right. And with that, y'all, Dante love y'all. Ask Jesus to forgive you for all your sins. Um, and that's it. I'm out.